Alrighty boys, welcome back to another step-by-step -step video. Now to get us started here for today guys, we're playing Ace, we're attacking the Master Bomb Site, and the plan that I want to go for here guys is I want to open the top Mez wall, and I want it to be open in a way where the um, you can just walk into the breach without having to vault it is the idea. So I'm making the right side purposely more open here, so that way when we do eventually get the wall open, and you're going to see here I'm going to shoot through the head holes to shoot the meat jammer out right here i am going to take a little bit of fire from piano uh but long story short the main thing i wanted to show from this clip guys is when there's someone playing castle on this bomb site a really easy play that you have is you can put a breach charge or prep the castle by punching it eight times and basically you just wait until people are like set up on either half war or inside a piano and in this specific clip there's going to be people set up on either so right there, this guy Nitro, so I know he's on half wall. I'm going to go ahead and swing, kill the guy on half one, and also kill a guy inside a piano completely for free, you know. Now, this next free kill, uh, specifically it's going to be a Nitro Cell, is a Nitro Cell that you do on Chalet on the bar bomb site. And this is, you're probably only going to get it, get this kill whenever your top Mez and your top Blue Stairs person dies. And the way that you do it, basically, is you sit on bottom Blue Stairs, you have your Nitro, and basically when your when your teammate dies, so for like for this clip, my frost and my cap gun are gonna die for context here. And what's gonna end up happening is that the enemy team is gonna start flooding towards my top blue. And so what I wanna do in positions like that while I'm on the bottom blue stairs is I wanna go ahead and wait till I get audio that they're on the top of the staircase. And then what you wanna do is and this is really simple, is you just walk up a little bit, you hold your nitro cell out on your hand, and then you basically just toss it right over the railing here so like right here i hear him i hear him really like on the stairs but then he backs up so i'm gonna go ahead and toss it up at the top here get myself a free kill now this next one guys is gonna be when you are defending the basement bomb site for chalet and long story short the most common push and i I've, honestly in my opinion this bomb site is probably the easiest bomb site in the game to attack because you open up long angle you open up the elbow breach you get rid of this shield and you plant on default plant, which is in front of my shield right here. Um, and a lot of times, a lot of people like to rush into this push. So what happens is like, they'll open up the elbow wall and they'll just like sit there like holding their gun out. And a lot of times what you can do to get yourself an easy kill in these type of rounds is you can hold your nitro cell in your hand, wait for them to open up the wall. Like right here, I'm getting grimmed out. They know that I'm getting grimmed out right here, so they're going to go ahead and open up elbow. And what you want to do is, while this wall is getting open, you want to hold your nitro in your hand, and then just toss it very deep inside, because there's most likely going to be a guide there. Now, I do get traded out in that clip, but now, um, I got traded out in that last clip, however, I, I still wanted to show that nitro cell, because usually, most people aren't going to just charge into breach. I think the main reason why they charge into the breach right there was because I was grimmed out, I was getting the red pings on me, so... If they charge in, they'll probably use the smoke as cover, and that way they can get a kill onto me. Normally, it doesn't happen, and you can just nitro the breach, get yourself a free kill, and then put your your team in an early advantage. Uh, but next up here, guys, we're going to be on coastline, and this is actually, for context, this is going to turn into a 1v5, okay? And basically, the thing that I want to show from this is, like, what you do in positions like this to get yourself some free kills. And I'm going to be honest, guys, I hate to say it, but you're probably going to want to bait in positions like this. Now, as you can already tell how my team is already selling this round, is one of my teammates is repelling down the skylight, which uh, I don't, I'm not really sure what he's doing. I think he's trying to peek through the uh, ace charge holes. Uh, and then my ace is going to die from the um, the actual like roof angle. Someone's going to peek him from the breach and just absolutely take his head off. My twitch dies from, I guess he went down to the bottom and got killed when he went into the hallway. And then uh, I don't know how my Osa and my, and my buck died, but yeah. 1v5. Minute 40 on the clock. Now, in positions like this, what I what you need to do is find a position where you know they're going to be ego challenging, and then you want to hold that position and just make like force them to peek you. Basically, is the idea. So, like right here, this doc is going to go into the angle that he killed my ace on, and I'm going to go ahead and get a freebie on him. Now, uh, there's also going to be a warden that's running out of the office right here on the first floor. And he's looking up towards the roof. Now, I know I know normally people aren't gonna like just ego challenge like this, but just use this as like a like a, as a as like a 
Like, try to um, envision, like, if people are running out of you in 1v5, like, envision yourself getting those people who are running out. Think of them as free kills. There's another guy inside of office here who shoots at me. I go ahead and wide swing him, collect myself in a free a free kill because it's in, in a very long corridor. So I'm going to go ahead and get a free kill on him. Now I'm going to drone here. There's a Goyo that's inside of Aqua here. And we know because he was shooting his gun earlier in the round. He's behind the bar here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to air jab behind the bar. The air jab doesn't go off and he also doesn't shoot, that, shoot it. So that means that he probably ran past the double door here. And is close left on this, uh, this soft wall, okay? And so the idea here is that I'm going to walk in. I need to shoot the default cam first of all. I need to shoot the default cam so that way he can't get a free pre-fire when I walk in. And then I need to swing in aggressively. And he's going to go ahead and challenge me. But I already know he's there. So I'm going to go ahead and swing him and kill him for free. Last guy's inside hookah. Unfortunately, in this clip, I don't end up getting the kill. I did actually know he was there. But I didn't know his exact angle. Uh, and that's the reason why I wasn't able to win it. Now for this next clip here guys, we're on Outback. I'm playing Legion. Now the thing that I like to do with Legion is I like to put Legion Mines on all of the window hop-ins. And also any doorways, I want to get Legion Mines on them so that way the enemy team can't walk in and just keep getting more and more kills. That's my idea. Now, uh, the main thing that I want you guys to see from this fast forward here is that they don't have the dorms window open. And the only thing that they have open that they're going to be able to actively push is going to be the main wall for this specific clip. Now, um, for contacts, there's going to be one guy that's going to push the picnic piano side. But for this specific clip, the bulk of their push is going to come from the main wall here. So what I need to do is I need to position myself in a way where I can play off of my lesion mines and also help deny the, the breach. And, and hopefully my team will deny picnic is my idea here. But long story short, guys, I'm going to go ahead and start getting droned out here. I am going to whiff on the drone originally here. So I start spraying at all the gridlock tracks here. So that way I can push up if I need to. I get the drone. And then what they're going to do here is they're going to start flashing me out. Now, normally you're going to die in positions like this. However, this Dokubi doesn't end up pushing me aggressively. So I'm going to go ahead and just rat in this corner. And then she knows I'm here. So what I need to do is I just need to aggressively swing and just expect her to be there. Now, the ace dies to my lesion mine. So I end up getting a free kill on him. Now there is one more guy inside of dorms here. So what I'm doing is I'm just riding in the corner waiting for him to peek into me. My teammates do get one more kill over by picnic. So what I need to do now is I need to I need to put myself in a position where I can take a front gunfight and take the angle before he gets there. And I do get shots onto the thermite right here. Now it's a 1v1 position and I just need to find an angle where I can contest him. Uh, and now he pushes the hallway, but my teammate's giving me the call out for it. So I'm going to go ahead and hold it right here. Get myself a free kill on him because if he's not pre-firing me, I'm going to win this all day long. Because my gun just shoots a lot faster than his. And you know what I mean? It's just it's just overall just not a great gunfight for him. So you're going to win gunfights like that all day long if they had to push through a doorway on you. The reason why doorways are free kills is because... Think about it, like you're pushing through a very narrow doorway. There's only so many places that you can be when you're crossing the doorway. You know what I mean? So it's nine times out of ten, if you're already pre-aiming a doorway and someone's trying to walk through it, you're going to get a free kill no matter what. Now, uh, I do really quickly want to talk about the, the sights for my guns, guys. I've been using Reflex C. I've been using Reflex A. Um, let me know what you guys think about the, the sights. I've just been playing random sights to see how you guys react to it. Um... Like I said, my best site is going to be the hollow A. I do feel like the hollow A is a little defaulty, so that's the main thing that I wanted to uh, quickly talk about it. Is that if you guys want me to use other other sites, then I totally don't mind. Once again, guys, we're playing Legion. Now, I hear this blitz underneath the hatch here, so I'm going to go ahead and take some shots at him. I don't end up hitting him, but I, I guess his idea was to uh, bait underneath the hatch right there. Wait for someone to drop to try to rotate, and then he was going to melee them or whatever and get himself a free kill. But unfortunately, I, I, I spoiled that for him, so he's not able to do it. Now, the main thing or the main angle that I want to show you guys from this clip here is this angle and this hop up for server here. You're going to see Blitz walk in. Now, unfortunately, I do with my shots, um, but we are going to end up getting the refrag onto him right here because he ends up going back to the doorway, and then my teammate shoots him in the side, and we collect that free kill right there. Now, like I said, guys, the main thing I want to show from this clip is this angle right here. And what's going to happen here is um, there's going to be a guy that's going to walk up to this doorway. And this angle is just like, it's a very awkward angle to shoot at. 
So this guy does try to shoot at me, but I end up killing him before he's able to line up the shots perfectly. And so that way I'm getting myself a free kill to uh, put us in a nice 3v2 advantage. Now, there is going to be one more guy that is going to end up pushing this doorway as well. But like I said, since I have this angle here, all I, all I got to do is just keep prepping my leisure mines, keep holding the angle, and there's really nothing he can do. He has to take the gunfight with me. And I believe he's going to go ahead and peek here. I'm going to get some shots on him right here, which is going to force him to back up. Now he's 1 HP. You know what I mean? So it's pretty much it's pretty much over for him at this point, unless he can like somehow quick peek, you know, one tap, headshot me or something. But nine times out of ten here, I'm going to go ahead and kill him for free. Uh, and I believe right here he is going to go ahead and walk up and put Legion Mines down to make sure that he doesn't have some type of run in play since I'm holding a pixel angle. And he's going to go ahead and peek up right here. He's going to die. Now the last guy decides to rotate over to operational. And my teammate's going to give that call out to my doc. And then my doc is going to go ahead and kill the last guy here and secure us the round. Now I've got one more clip to show you guys for another easy free kill that you can get. I'm over here on consulate. This is the top floor. I'm playing mute. Now you can do this with any operator that has a nitro cell. Uh, but for this specific example, I'm using mute. And the, the idea that you're going for here is you're going to run over to yellow at the beginning of the round and you're just going to hold your nitro cell in your hand. You want to break the glass on the skylight for this uh, nitro cell because you want to get as much audio as possible. And basically all you're doing is you're waiting for anybody repelling up to the roof from yellow side and or anybody that, that is on the roof because you're going to get very clear audio right here. So all you're, all you're doing is just waiting for a little bit of audio of somebody on the roof next to the skylight right here and then that's when you want to toss your nitro cell but anyway guys let me know what you guys think about the sites and uh hope you guys enjoyed today step by step make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one peace